What's good, Blackstar Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Jared. Y'all, we've reached 1,000 subs, to be exact, 1,013 subs. And I want to say I thank all of you for getting us to 1,000. But today, we're in a bit of a pickle here. This lady, she needs Jesus, people. She needs Jesus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And we go to another review from Kendra G. And since I'm monetized now, I'm going to try to keep the language to a minimum. So let's share my screen. Here we go. Hello. Hey, Kendra. Hey, what's your name, boo? My name is Victoria. Victoria, you got on glasses. I'm going to take my glasses off so y'all can see me. Okay. Oh, are those lashes? Yeah, I got the little stones. Girl, let me see these lashes, girl. Get your ass close to the camera. I see them. What is in these, girl, what is in these lashes? They got, like, little stones in them. Is that dangerous? No. They're fine. Like, what they if come, when you go to sleep? Do they you come like with the. Before you go to no. sleep? Is there, are they, are they, are they detached? Yeah, I'm going to take them off. Like, they're. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, they're strips. They're strips. They're strips with little balls? They have, like, um, they're like little stones, you know, like. Where the hell you can you find lashes with stones at? Huh? Where you find those lashes? Um, I ordered these off of um Timu. So I originally got some from Ross, right? But I haven't been able to find them again because I like them. So I ordered them off Timu. Yeah. Oh, okay, Victoria with the diamond lashes. Yes. How old are you, honey? I'm 39. 39. What do you? Fair use. Fair use. What do you do for a living? Um, I own my own trucking company and I do braids. Wigs, lashes. Okay, wigs, lashes. Well, I guess you are a good marketer for yourself because I was yes. asking you all about them lashes, child. <laughs> um, you have any kids, Victoria? I do. I have four children. They're 22, 20, and I have an eight-year-old. That's three ages. Um, I have twins. They're 20. The 20-year-old twins. All yes. about the same man? Ladies, excuse me, guys. Ladies, can y'all get some 9-volt batteries and change the battery and the smoke detector, please? Because I'm tired of every time I hear y'all come on these doggone platforms, y'all saying, y'all talking about what y'all want, but yet y'all got the fire alarm going off in the background because y'all didn't change the battery. Please change the doggone batteries because that is annoying, especially for people that don't even have theirs going off. 9 volt battery, all you gotta do is screw it off, pop out the battery, put the battery, put a new battery in, screw it back, and then it reset. Please do me a favor and do that. It's not that hard. Anyways, um, yes, my, my oldest kids have their own dad, and then I, my eight year old has her own dad. So that's two men. Yes. Um, have you ever been married? No. No. Um, and what's your zodiac sign, Victoria? I'm a cancer. Cancer. So we got Victoria, 39, cancer, owns her own trucking company, um, also does wigs and lashes. Um, four moms of four, a 22-year-old, two, a twins that are 20, and an eight-year-old by two men, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um, one that is goal driven, um, past his whole phase, you know, one that's ready to be in a committed relationship. I'm trying to go into my soft girl era. I, I, I'm really looking for somebody to like come save me. <laughs> like, I know what I bring to the table. I'm I'm in a place to where I feel like I'm healed. Like I. What does she bring to the table? Three kids and a used box. Here we go. And she talked about she want to be in her soft girl era. 
An era does not last. That's what a lot of these ladies don't understand. An era does not last. You saying you want to be in your softcore era, but then you turn around and you start acting the way you act, and that turns the man off. Okay. I've healed enough. I've been single for the past two years, and I'm looking for someone who's like the complete package. Mentally stable, financially stable. Um, yeah. Are you a comedian? No. <laughs> I'm I'm serious. You don't do stand up comedy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever considered doing stand up comedy? Um, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Like my a, personality. What is what is what is a, what what do you mean when you say you want a man to come save you? I mean like um I've been being I've been like carrying playing both roles in my life, like being mom and dad to my kids, my oldest Ma'am, you did it to yourself. <laughs> Man, you did that to yourself. Kids, their dad is deceased. Um, so it's like messing around with I've been, I I've been operating as a mom for half of my life. You know, yeah, they, and I up. feel like I never had the chance to like be victorious, to grow and to um understand who I am. And now that I'm at that place in my life where my kids are older and I'm in a more stable place in my life. I want someone to come in to add to my life, to make life great for me, to enjoy happiness with, not create happiness, not to make me happy, but to someone that I can enjoy life with, you know, someone that I can grow with. Go ahead. Yeah. So before Kendra start, this woman wants everything. She wants to be taken care of. She wants somebody to come to save her. <sighs> She's been a mom her whole life, half her life. Now she wants to be saved. What is it with y'all trying to come later on down the line with four kids and then talk about you want to be saved? Why not find out? Why not get married before then have all the kids and then you have your husband so you don't have to quote unquote be saved? I don't <clears throat> I don't understand y'all. Oh, first of all, I have I have a heart. Sorry about your children's dad that passed away. I don't. Um definitely sympathetic learning that information. When I think of save, this is what I think of save. Literally, I think of J. Cole. Don't don't save her. She don't want to be. I think that song comes to head, my head. When I think of saves, a man that can save to me is a man that can financially come in and take over. And then women now are living the soft life that they have coined. So is that what you mean when you say saves? In a sense as well, because nope. I built my business up. I'm currently still building my business. We do not care about your French toast business. We don't. We don't care about your kids. We don't care about your money. We don't care about none of that. Y'all coming to the table with four kids, three kids, hell, sometimes even two kids. Then you want to sit on here and say what you want. Then how does this go? Um, I have other businesses that I'm working on. So I know that I'm bringing a lot to the table. No, you're not. Um, I feel like the right person will come along and add to that to where I wouldn't have to carry that load as much. Ma'am, you had four kids by two different dudes that ain't doing nothing. I think you've lost the plot here. He may be interested in the same things that I'm interested in. So I feel like I have gotten us this far, you know. As far as, like, if I'm to get into a serious relationship, I know what I bring to the table. Yeah, three kids. And I feel like he can have it from here. 
Like he can. I, this man, how much do you, do you, does he got to make a certain amount of money? I'm established. Um, I would say a, at least eighty k, a hundred k. Oh hell, heck no. Uh uh, no. See, <laughs> y'all want to do make it eighty to one hundred k k to come in and um <laughs> and fix your life. <laughs> I laugh at you. <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> Here's why. You ladies expecting somebody to come in and save you after you've messed up your life, your entire life. And then you want somebody to come in and save you because you've found this new side of femininity that you want to experiment with for a limited amount of time, calling it a soft girl era. Then when something happens, then you're going to revert back to your original programming. And then you're going to be like, I don't need you. Then y'all wonder why a lot of these dudes is calling y'all cap. Ma'am, first of all, let's get this out of the way. You got these uh, um, cum catchers on your face. Have these unnatural... I this unnatural eye color via contacts that struggle behind weave and all this stuff. And you're talking about you want a man coming and say, if you don't get the French toast out of here. Okay. At least eighty K hundred. A minimum eighty K. A minimum eighty K. In her dreams. Yes. Do you normally do you normally date men that make eighty K to hundred K? Um, I have no, a couple. Don't. No drug dealers. I don't want no drug dealers. Um, That's who made it, the drug dealers. So she's never dated a respectable man that's making a hundred k. She's only dated drug dealers. Yeah, that's the reason why her, why her baby daddy ain't here, cause he was a drug dealer. Yeah, we can read through the lines, ma'am. Um, I have yes. Have you dated men that make 80 to 100K that weren't drug dealers? Yes. What happened no, with haven't. those men? Um, really like lack personality or always boasting about what you got or I don't like that. I don't like that type of energy um, or little dick energy, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just like I want I want my person or the per you know the person that I'm with to be a guy. Like you don't have to talk about or brag about what you got or my credit score is this or I just bought bought this. Like I don't like that. So that 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 wouldn't work for me. Ooh, child. Well, you know most men who do well have egos, right? Because they feel like they are different than other men. So most men who make a certain amount of money, an ego is going to come with that to a certain degree. Yeah, but at least have like some personality behind it. You know, it's not like what you make is just a percentage, you know, of a, of a relationship or what you can bring to the table, but at least have substance behind that. And so you also said that um, they had a small penis. Yeah, that 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 particular person, yes. Okay. And you can um, tell when somebody has that type of energy because they're like really boastful. Well, some people, you know, they're boastful always. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna just go all in. I'm gonna just go in right now, ma'am. The only thing you bring it to the table is some dusty behind, a dusty behind wig, a dusty behind, uh, dusty behind uh, eyelashes, and some dusty. <laughs> Darn, I'm trying to keep my mouth shut. And some dusty ass, uh, some dusty ass box. Yo, dad gone. Yo, dad gone dust is so doggone dry that you making white people's cornbread seem moist. Ma'am, you need to stop. You talking about you want a man to come in that's making eighty to hundred grand without an ego to take care of you and your babies. Y'all, y'all really get on my nerves now. Y'all, y'all really don't get it. Y'all really don't get it. Ain't no dude coming along 
and saving you a baby mama. No dude's going to do that. I'm sorry. No dude's going to do that. No dude wants to deal with a woman with several kids by dudes that ain't even around. And then you're talking about you want somebody to come in and be stable and not have an ego. Who the French toast do you think you is? Like, seriously. Y'all want the most and bring the least to the table. I'm trying to figure out, in what part of your mind do you think a man that's making 80 to 100 grand is going to even want to come near you? You say you run a trucking company. Cool. That's good money. Then you say you do nails and lashes. Okay. You got four kids. And yet, you saying that you want to be saved because you're tired of doing it all by yourself. You're tired of playing the both roles. Don't no man want a woman that's like that. A masculine behind woman. Nobody wants that. I'm sorry. Y'all want to sit here and act like, oh, y'all got all this because you're bringing box to the table. Let's get that. Let's let's get let's get it. Keep it a buck. That's what most of y'all is offering. Box. Nothing else. Just box. He ain't gonna get cooperativeness. He gonna ain't gonna get submissiveness. He ain't even gonna get a child a child out of you. You're 38 years old and you talking about you want to be a soft girl here. Man, if y'all don't get the French toast out of here with that mess. Mm. Y'all, 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 y'all something else. Y'all is something else. And I feel bad for you cheering because these cheering gonna go up with Oh boy. Got these these daggone children. Oh my god. <sighs> Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support, podcast, spot.com. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye guys. <laughs>